When an ocean surge washed away Mureni's Sani Alakij's house in 2011, he took a loan to build a home farther away. But that is no longer safe as the sea creeps inland in Oko Alpha, a neighborhood in Nigeria's commercial capital, Lagos. Hundreds of older residents have watched helplessly as tidal waves devour their homes, which experts say is a product of rising sea levels linked to climate change. Government leaders will meet at the Commonwealth of Nations Summit in Rwanda this week to discuss the plight of residents and other issues. Africa has also contributed very little to climate warming greenhouse gas emissions, but its residents are among the most vulnerable to the fallout from the planet's warming, a United Nations climate panel said in February. Two eyes, people. Two o'clock, you can come out from our wash. Three o'clock, you can come out from our Who knows the time the water should come? Can't pass it in. When you stop, they come out. That's why they stay before. It was out of the kind of So just for them to choose. And the water is still disturbing. That's why we put out this place. I'm ready to see you. Entering our houses, spoiling many things. In these communities, they can expect help around building nature-based solutions, solutions that will protect them from the ocean. Mangroves can protect them from the ocean. Nigeria is a member of the Mangrove Action Group. The Mangrove Action Group helps bring back mangroves, natural nature-based defenses against storms, against climate change. Tackling the ocean and climate change at Chogum is a priority. We will be announcing a project incubator to support countries with their ocean and climate change projects. We have more than $400,000 set aside to begin to help countries with their ocean and climate projects. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.